What's up, y'all? So, today I'm going to talk about the cosmic design, the infinite design to the universe. And really, what the universe comes down to is ebbs and flows. Like, ebbs and flows. P uh, push and pull. Or, <laughs> um, yin and yang. The two forces connected by the one creating three. Uh, it's all numbers, it's all time, sound based. It's for you on a humanistic level, it becomes a perception based uh, kind of world so to speak i had to think because wording is everything in this is in this realm especially uh so you have to use the correct wording the correct verbiage the correct vernaculars in order to uh convey with in all certainty what you're trying to to come you know come across as is a, a smart person but you know a, a real uh, honesty folks i really don't like talking like that i don't i don't because it's it's simpler is better. Simpler is better. Uh, I'm not trying to say that I know a lot because ultimately anyone could get, uh, anyone could pick up a book, anyone could pick up a tablet, anyone could pick up an iPad or a, a MacBook and just type in stuff, research, look up stuff. But that's a digression. So well, let's continue forward. And with that, notion of the grand design of the universe being you know an ebb and a flow or a push and a pull you have to realize that ultimately what it comes down to is is static and electromagnetic uh, that that is the ebb and the flow static and electromagnetic and most people look at electromagnetic as the only spectrum but they completely overlook the static spectrum they don't even talk about the static spectrum at all it's not even a thing. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but in everything that I've looked up for in this realm, I don't believe that I've seen like a static uh, spectrum, a static, a static magnetic spectrum. Um, it's always electro, and even using magnetic and all that, because wording is just so weird in this it's realm. It's like. You have to um, just think about what you're gonna say, and, and some people write this stuff out. I know I don't. It, everything, most of everything I do is gonna come from come off dome. Uh, it just is who I am. I haven't done a live stream yet, though. I, I guess I should eventually because i know there's some people who probably want to see what i sound like in person what i what my personality is like if i'm actually who i say i am and not a machine <laughs> i can assure you i'm not a machine but you will get those people out there like he is a clone well technically now honesty that's a digression this is a regression. Um, but yeah, the, the beauty of the universe is the fact that you don't realize that that water is ultimately the ebb and the flow. And for the atomists, you, you make so many molecules and, and make all this stuff up, but ultimately it's all one thing. And that one thing is an oscillation it, it is uh you can't see yourself as a mist or a, 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 a photon because you don't how do you conceptualize a photonic uh, a rendering you can't i mean star trek has tried with holograms and it's like what separates them from being a real person they've trifled in that era um or in that in that world of holographics and um, you have to get to a realization at some point that 
with this being a holographic universe, one that's built off of not only sound, but shape, dimensions, uh, uh, voids. And when I say void, this in front of you, there is something literally in front of you. All of this, there's stuff there. There's stuff there. And what really will grind your mind is you have never moved from that one spot. You've always been the in one spot. The visualizations, the conceptualizations are all renderings from this area here. You perceive through your eyes, people, for, and for those who say, oh, well, what about the blind people? Nope, not a vape pen. It's a, it's got this little thing, yep. Visualization and conceptualization. Everything is subjective and objective. It is uh, based off of how you perceive. It's based off of your surroundings. It, it really comes down to what your eye is perceiving and what it renders and how, because your eyes are just as much a part of your nervous system as anything. And so really, ultimately, what yourself, what you come down to at the grand scheme of things is neurons or nerve endings that send signals back and forth. That is the real you. That is the real you. It is connected throughout your entire body. You control pain, you control all of that. You're a machine, right? My civilization created this civilization. And when I say my civilization, I'm not speaking as Michael because I can't speak as Michael and then I would have to say their civilization created, but perception is everything and I have to perceive myself as the person who uh, is telling me this information because it is not the most high and you have to stop looking at deities and gods as the most high because even these deities such as uh, Kronos uh, or such as Vishnu all of these deities ultimately were subject to the realm that completely encompassed them. They only had their abilities and powers because of said realm. Without those, uh, without that realm, they would be nothing. They would have nothing. So, you, if you look at a lot of these religions, there is a formless entity behind a lot of these religions. It's just a formless entity and then you have the entities that come from the formless entity that are godlike, and then you have everyone else. So you have to get to a real point in your life where you understand and perceive yourself in a higher light. So me personally, I perceive myself in a very high light because I mean, I know my worth, I know who I am, and the journey that I've been on has shown me a lot of things that have completely made me understand this is a whole, it's a work of art. Even with the chemtrails up in the sky, it's a work of art. Like, I sat there and watched a chemtrail yesterday, and it wasn't just one, it was like three. Mask the sun. Like, it, it, it started as that one line. And then as it dispersed, it became a, like this form of a cloud that was blocking out the sun. And I was just like, who was your spell caster? Because your spells are getting weak. If everyone can see it, then you are losing power. <laughs> you don't have very much steam. Entropy. It's the name of the business. Myth. Good luck. I was there once. Being at the bottom, it don't suck. It's just perception. It's perception, baby. If you perceive you at the bottom, then you at the bottom. Perception is everything. Know thyself, and then you know everything. With that knowledge out there, for the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.